CIA agent XX. Yo, what's going on? It's someone that's no one, and welcome back to today's report. Today's report is coming from I'm Flabbergasted off Reddit, the drugs used, LSD, PCP, and heroin, at a dose of three tabs of acid, and an unknown amount of the other two, the route of administrations, orally, smoked, and injected, gender, male, prior experience, or note various experience, and the setting, Orange County, California, mainly on a beach. So here's a report that was requested and coming from a very experienced user. The combination alone is enough to cause a plethora of effects, but it's influenced even further by the environment he goes across when intoxicated. This is an experience filled with color and unique moments. The combination alone sure enough causes interest enough already. So let's waste no time. I'm sure everyone's going to like this. So without further ado, let's dive right into this. Got asked to write about an experience I had on LSD and PCP. This was the very last one while I had been living in Orange County, California, San Clement area. So I had moved to California only a month prior to this. Once I got to California, I hitched a ride to San Clement, where I went right to the beach and stayed. I slept there for a few nights until I seen these kids walking down the beach and causing a bunch of noise when I was trying to sleep. I was selling dope to other homeless buddies I made to support my habit. They were all mostly kids who ran away from rehab and went back home or back to rehab after paying me stupid amounts of money as well as selling small hits of angel dust I brought from Philadelphia the month prior. I kept it in safekeeping because I came with about 9-10 to 10 grams and only had so much left. The kids, as they got closer, began sounding more and more fucked up as I heard them. As they were walking only a few feet past me, I could tell they were on some type of psychedelic or something trippy as fuck, or they were new to weed, whichever one. So. With no dignity at all, I said, Hey, and the one boy, he was a teenage kid, I call him boy, looked at me. Bro, how high are y'all right now? Him, his buddy, and the two girls they were with all just started cracking the fuck up. I asked him if he had anything extra, and he'd said he'd sell me five tabs of some stupid, crazy, gnarly shit for like 60 bucks or something. I told him I had 30, and so he sold me the three. Dumbass. I put that shit in my pocket and waited for the morning. I woke to kids laughing and people on the beach. First thing I did was pull the tabs out of my pocket and threw them in my mouth. I packed my bag and made my way to the public bathroom so I could get my heroin fix before I got sick. About 30 minutes later, the normal acid shit started happening. Breathtaking anxiety, shit started wiggling, and I couldn't stop smiling. Whoopee. I'd done acid so many times at that point, I kinda regretted only taking the three tabs because I found no purpose in it anymore. But then I had a bigger, brighter, better idea. Why don't I just smoke some PCP? Near the San Clement Pier, next to the park, there was a little newspaper shop run by some old man who was crazy nice. I was always in there getting food when I could. I felt bad because I went in there and ripped a sheet of aluminum foil out of the box and left it there, but whatever. I went back to the bathroom, pulled out my lighter, and there I went, starting a very, 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 very long day. About one minute goes by. Where the fuck am I? The walls started closing in the bathroom, and all my senses became increased. I actually paid attention to the pungent smell of the public bathroom. I instantly thought that I was somebody else, I literally thought I was some guy working in the government. So I had to make a decision. Create the best plan of action, review it, escape from the cell. I packed my backpack up and threw it on my back. I tightened the straps on it to the point where I probably couldn't have taken it off without unstrapping them. I fiddled with my shoelaces forever, making sure they were tight in case I had to escape. I crept against the wall and unlocked the door. I blew on the door, hoping it would open, but I failed. I crept my hand out and pushed it with my finger. I peered around the corner. 
the coast is clear. I made my way out into the public where the sun was almost fucking blinding me. I whispered to myself, I need a map. Where am I? Does my government know I'm here? I began to get very emotional. I didn't shed tears or change my facial expression because I knew someone was watching. I made my way to the shade where there were benches. I sat down to calm down and figure out how to execute this mission without failing. Then I thought about my wife, my kids, the buddies I met in training, in the CIA. I wondered how many of them were dead from that mission. I have no wife or kids. I never went on a mission, and I surely wasn't in the CIA. I contemplated getting a tattoo for my buddy John, as he was my best friend, and I watched him die in combat. Suddenly, there was a clue. I saw a shadow in the distance of who was watching me. He was a 3D standing shadow. Then, as my ears perched back like a dog, I heard a whisper in my ear. I jolted, and as I turned around, I saw another shadow turning the corner, running down the stairs toward the beach. I knew the Nazis were trying to get the secret codes out of my head by playing mind games with me, but I wouldn't let them succeed. I stood up, and I ran as fast as I could up the hill away from the beach. I went straight for about a mile, and I was on Main Street. It was flooded with people, and I wasn't sure who were triple agents. A person who defects, then comes back to America, and while America thinks that the other country thinks that they're their spy, they're really the other country's spy spying on America. It really fucked my brain up, and I was really paranoid. Dark shadows proved to be clues to me, so I followed them. As I was walking, I suddenly felt like I was being watched very closely, so I needed to act unnaturally so they couldn't find me. I turned a quick left and ran back to the beach. Oh, this is a sick maze they got me in, huh? All of a sudden, there he was. The director of the CIA. Some random guy in a blue suit I saw. He looked at me, and without talking, he told me telepathically, XX, this is a failed mission. Fall back. I repeat, mission failed. Fall back. The Nazi spies have infiltrated us. Make your way to the furthest side of the beach by the concrete entrance. So I did. I ran. I ran very far and very long down the beach in Air Force Ones and sweatpants. I was sweating my balls off. I actually thought I was going to have a heat stroke. As I ran, I tried getting images of my wife and kids out of my head, hoping I'd get to see them again. I got to the big rocks where the entrance to a walkway was at, and on the left side, when the ocean retreated back into the ocean, a sewage drain became visible. The CIA director contacted me mentally. In there is our HQ. Go in and stand by. I knew I had to get in there, so I jumped into the water. It went up to about halfway up my calves. I waited for the ocean to retreat, and I crawled into the sewer pipe. I crawled so fucking fast on that concrete. I actually remember the next day I thought my kneecaps were broken. They were so bruised and damaged. But anyways, after crawling for about 2-3 to three minutes in pitch black, I began to hyperventilate and I actually started crying. I kept crawling for my buddy John, and then a sudden light shone through the left side of the pipes. I saw it and crawled to it. About 2-3 to three minutes more later, I was further down the beach in a very secluded, very weird area that I went to many times after this. I just didn't go through the pipes, lol. There's a way over there by climbing up some rocks. I waited there for hours. I was hoping a boat would come and take me off the Cuban island, but it never did. After the hours of waiting, I became extremely exhausted. Those hours were a crucial part of that entire day. I finally had figured out who I was. I didn't know my name, but I was a hero back in my country. I had saved lives, and while saving lives, I was captured by the Nazis and taken to America Cuba, a place that looks like America, but was set up like the Truman Show to get me to reveal the secrets on how to let them win the war. But America was too smart, I was too trained. The CIA director and our spies also knew what they were doing. We could talk through our brains from distances up to 100 miles, and 
we were also able to see through walls, if need be. I don't know where that power was in the sewer, or the bathroom, or anywhere for that matter, but I guess I had it. I waited and waited, staring out to the horizon. I knew it was set up like the Truman Show, because in the distance, everything was wiggling and glitching. The ocean wasn't even real. Time dragged on of me, making up entire stories in my head, but I was so completely convinced they were true. Eventually I began to sober up a little bit, and I really thought I was going to die from exhaustion. So my first move? Get the heroin out. I shot up some dope, and it actually drastically decreased the high. It made me feel sane. It felt like it was a splash of water on a fire that had been burning for a long time now. That fire being my brain. I fell asleep for a few hours before I came to, and since it was nighttime, I was scared of the rocks, like falling and fucking up my shit. So I just changed out of my wet socks and slept in the CIA headquarters for Cuban territory throughout the night. Now, I didn't touch on it, but as I sit here today thinking about this story, I'm actually really fucked up from that specific incident. As I was typing the story, I actually, for no more than one thousandth of a second, thought I saw a Nazi shadow out of the corner of my eye, and it gave me chills. Also, I brushed over it briefly, but when I said the triple agent shit fucked me up, like, I really was having nervous breakdowns in my head, because everyone was American. I was afraid they were all triple agents, and that I was the only real American freedom fighter left. The frustration, aggression, and fear of standing on that main street looking for triple agents was probably one of the scariest moments of my life. Edit. Guys, I have been sober for over a year now. This incident was not recent. My drug use lasted for about seven years, with about two and a half of those years being in California. I'm fully aware I should have seen psychiatrist or mental health when it happened, but it's way past that, haha. <laughs> These days I spend my free time helping other addicts, reliving my glory days through stories, sharing experiences, and promoting harm reduction in drug use.